Hi. So as you can see, it's another beautifully sunny, freezing cold day here in Hamilton, New Zealand. Um, yesterday and the day before was like some weird storm. And then you get this. Welcome to a Pacific Island that's in the freezing of winter. That's what it is. Um, so uh, we're in the um, Hamilton Gardens again, but this is a like a... Like grow veggies in here and stuff and seeing we're talking about seeds and planting i was like what a more perfect place right so um this is a continuation of last week's reading is it itchy no. um so we're um and we're gonna start in alma 32 and this is where he's teaching the people the um zoramites and uh there's some really good things and, and basically they want to know what to do because these are the ones that came up and um, asked him you know like they won't let us pray they won't let us do this what do we do so uh, Alma then teaches them what they can do now we're going to go verse 28 because it says and I'll tell you something really cool here um, this has probably been shared a couple of times and maybe a few of your teachers will tell you this but maybe you already knew um, it says now we will compare the word unto a seed now if you give place that a seed may be planted in your heart, behold if it be a true seed or a good seed, if you do not cast it out by your unbelief that you will resist the spirit of the Lord, behold it will begin to swell within your breast. And when you feel these swelling motions, you will begin to say within yourselves, it must needs be that this is a good seed, or that the word is good, for it beginneth to enlarge my soul, yea, it beginneth to enlighten my understanding, yea, it beginneth to be delicious to me. Now, if you look at, we're going to focus on preparing a place for the seed to grow. But, because you know, we're talking about, you know, Alma's already said that uh, faith is like a seed. You remember that primary song? And uh, faith is like a little seed and planted it will grow. I'm not going to sing for you, my singing's awful. Okay, so, if you look at this and you mark the word swell, because this is what happens. If you want to give place to it and you get a good seed, it will begin to swell. This is what a seed does, right? It starts to swell before it breaks over. And then it will begin to enlarge your soul. So mark enlarge. And then go to enlighten my understanding. Because it does. It begins to enlighten your understanding. And then it gets delicious. So mark delicious. Now what are the first letters of that spell? Seed. Kind of cool, right? But anyway. Beside that, we're going to talk about if you give place. And that's what I've marked here. Prepare a place. So, what can you do to prepare a landing place for God's word? Like, what can you do to prepare that garden ready for the seed that you're going to get for whatever it is? The beginning of your testimony, something else you need a testimony on. What are you going to do to prepare a place for that? Um, so, think of the parable of the sower too. And you can go back and have a look at that. It's in Matthew. Um, being chased by birds again. There's a little sparrow down here keep chirping at me. And there's fantails flying around, and I saw um, swallows today, which is rare. Anyway, um, so yeah, <coughs> go back to the parable of the sower. So I've got on the birds. Um, and, like, how do you prepare a place? Like, how? You have to have a desire to believe, and that's in Alma 32, 27. Then you've got to search the scriptures. It's like putting fertilizer in. That's Alma 32, 28. And you've got to keep the commandments which is a constancy, like keep at it. That's Alma 32, 37. And then a fourth, of course, is ponder, fast, pray, because it's feeding it more. That's like the sunlight and the the rain and those those sort of things. Um, and that's Moroni 10, 4 to 5. Um, and if you want to go look up the reward for doing this, that's in Alma 32, 41 to 43. But the reason that this is interesting is this. Let's go up here. You can see just here, um, it's like a weed that they grow. Now my granddad used to grow this in the garden and what it does is um, it grows in the garden and replaces the nitrogen and then you dig it into the soil before you like plant other plants. So before they do their spring plantings here of all the veggies for summer they grow this stuff and I can't remember the name of it. I might have to have a look it up and put it in the notes. Um, but yeah then as it sort of wilts at the end of winter and it grows really good during winter you dig it back into the soil and it like replenishes all the goodness into the soil so it's, it's another way of really preparing the soil which is what they do literally before they put seeds in um, 
as you can see this plot here I'm just showing you so there's one over there or further away you can see green and they're going rhubarb and that's a winter crop so done but then there's this like patch they've already dug over and they've already had this in it and dug it over so that'll be the first one they plant over there and I might go over there because there's a really cool um, sculpture of a scarecrow I'll show you and then there's this one here which they've literally just started to prepare so there's kind of some similarities you could take with how you are and what place you are on preparing for that seed to be planted so have a think about that and enjoy those scriptures and we'll continue on because it's just the first insight um for this week a lot of children down here because school holidays here so you know bear with on that one okay